You ever thought about visiting? <laughs> we're good? Okay, guys, so we're looking at, again at uh, hitting single legs, and instead of giving you guys a bunch of single leg entries and telling you, okay, go at it from a neutral situation, I'm trying to build your confidence in single legs from situations that are more readily available and jiu-jitsu guys are already well acquainted with, okay? The last one we looked at, we looked at entering a single leg from a four-point uh, position. Now we're going to enter a single leg from a guard situation. Again, if you can develop the confidence of hitting and developing your single leg from situations you're already used to, then you'll be able to go forward and start hitting with more confidence in the standing position. From here, we're going to start in a reverse de la Hiva. I'm going to have my foot molded around my opponent's um, uh, hamstring like so. So I take the laces of my leg and I roll around uh, my opponent's hamstring. I take my right hand and I mold my right hand pinky to the mat around my opponent's Achilles and heel. From here, I'm taking my right foot and it's performing a, a variety of different actions. But the main one I want you guys to be acquainted with right now is a simple post on the hip. Now from here, I'm going to go for a, uh, a, a tripod sweep from a reverse de la Hiva. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this left foot on his hip to start elevating my hips. What does that do? It starts to place weight on the far leg. Notice how his far leg stumbled. So from here, as I place my foot on the hip and I start to lift my hips up off the mat, that starts to make his far leg stumble, okay? Now let's ask ourselves a question. What if I created an obstacle for that far leg? Would he fall? He absolutely he would. So from here, I take my foot, I start to post weight, and as I post weight, my right leg, my De La Hiva leg comes out, and I look for that far leg to make him stumble. So from here, I lift my hips, I stumble, and he falls. Now, off that fall, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my leg from the inside, pommel it to the outside, look at his, 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 uh, his ankle. His ankle is still in my grip. I'm going to keep that. I post my hand on the mat, I start to heist, and I start to get to my Achilles grip. We both rise, and voila, we're right back into that single leg situation. From here, I'm coming in, looking for my dashi hurai action, and we're putting the guy down nice and soft. Let's look at this one more time. Again, we're hitting a tripod from a reverse de la Hiva, and then from there, building to our single leg. Let's go on the other side. Good. From here, I'm um, contouring to my opponent's hamstring with my foot. I don't want this to be lazy out here. He's going to start to create, pro exactly, he's going to start to create problems for you. So make sure you contour to that leg. If you have to reinforce that hook with the other leg initially, that's fine as well. From here, I take my foot, I post on his hamstring, I lift, and as I lift and place weight on that leg, notice how he goes on his heel. I block it, and that's what makes him fall. As soon as I make him fall, this leg comes out, pommel out, Achilles grip, I build height, he builds height because he doesn't want me to take his back or get top position. From here, we step in, we hit our dashi hurai, put the guy down nice and soft, and then from here, we're in a guard passing scenario, okay? On three, one, two, three.